Now look at that Theo Young. Is he a happy young guy? Here comes the reverse. Now it's a fake reverse. And a keep by Klaus. And it won't work. Just about no game. They meet Klaus at the line of scrimmage. Arkansas does. Basil and Williams are there. We get a break at the end of the third period. Arkansas 26, Navy 10. Live coverage of Arkansas. They had all the third period their way, leading 26 to 10. Navy goes to the fourth quarter. Possibility of two eight-point touchdowns to tie the game. But they got a long way to go. Off in the flat, they go to Pine, and nothing doing. Played perfectly over there by Nathan Jones, the rover back. So it's a completed pass, but it's going to be for very little yardage. Nathan Jones made the tackle. Nathan Jones, uh, he should get hurt in the beginning of the game. Because ever since he got himself knocked down, Nathan Hines has been going crazy. Number 20, who is their rover back, just stayed with Hines that time. No gain on that play. Third down and eight coming up for Navy. Play action fake. Here is Byrne running out of the pocket. Byrne fires it. And it's a good catch over here by the halfback Rich Klaus. It'll be a first down for Navy. Taken out of bounds around the 50-yard line on a play by Nathan Jones again. So there's the old number 20. Resented the fact he was shaken up a little bit, maybe. Well, Navy scores another first down. Navy needs a big fourth quarter to get back in the game. They're trailing by 16 points in the first minute here in the fourth period. Burn play action again. Burn in trouble. Burn fires it, and it's incomplete. Intended for John Burn, the fullback. Ball was thrown well. Burn has had a good night passing, but Paul he should have been much, much better. A lot of drop passes. A lot of drop passes. The fullback Burner has dropped at least two that we know of. You know, when you have people that are out there wide open, you've got to be able to hit them with the football and hope that they can catch it. Sarbury's in now, number 36 at fullback. Sal Bray is more of a runner. He's a pure runner, as a matter of fact. Maybe a little bit more physical, although Burns is a very physical power runner. Sal Bray is a tough kid, too. Still on the tailback is Klaus, who's replaced McKellum. They give it to Klaus. Fumbles. Klaus falls on it at the 48. He had a pretty good hole there, Paul, and the uh, ball just got away from him on the exchange somehow. He does pick up a yard down to the 48. It'll be third down and nine. Starting to see some lack of concentration, my friend. That, that ball was, was handed to him. Klaus has got to hold on to the football. Rob comes Klaus in with a play at the sideline, replacing Chris Weiler at split in. They send Horn to the top of the pitch to the right. And here goes Bill Byrne facing third down and eight from the Arkansas 48. Got time. Drills it into the tight end, but way short of a first down. Mark Stevens caught it. Mark Lee hit him down immediately, but he's a good five yards short of the marker. So it'll be fourth down for Navy. Jim, look at Hine on the outside. He caught six balls in the first half, but watch what's happening. That's Nathan Jones 20. He releases him to Kevin Wyatt number seven. This is going on all the time. He has his double coverage. They're letting him throw anything underneath they want to throw. Colby in the punt for Navy. Single safety back for Arkansas. A high twisting spot there. Catch call, but they're going to let it kick. This time Navy can down it inside the five. And they kill it at the four yard line. Arkansas in the hole, but they lead it 26 to 10. Wedge it out over the five-yard line. Dolman makes the stop. Tatum, the ball carrier. Arkansas doesn't want to make any major mistake back here. They've got a pretty good lead, 16 points in the fourth quarter. They come back in with our top receiver, James Shebest. Also in there is Eddie White, the starting tight end. Theo Young made the touchdown catch a moment ago. Comes off. And so does Luther Franklin. So they've been running with two tight ends, but they come back with Shebest. Nutt will try to spread the Navy defense a little bit. Here's the keep by Nutt. Cuts back inside on the keep play. And then he is nailed short of the 10-yard line by Chad Van Hosen and Vince McBeth. So McBeth, the Arkansas, gets another lick in for his team here in his return home. He's not the only part of the Navy party from Arkansas. The athletic director, J.O. Coppich, is a native of Blytheville, Arkansas. And he's here, along with the superintendent, Rear Admiral Charles R. Lawson. Rodney Fort 
is checked in the backfield for Arkansas's winning at right half. The left half is Terry Tatum. And here's the fake, and uh, here's Nutt going up the sidelines, and he's got his man Fort out of bounds on the 32. Boy, how about that for Guts? Danny Nutt back near his own goal line. Lobbed it down the side for Randy Fort, who's about the fifth halfback used in this game by Ken Hatfield tonight, the sixth one. All right, just take a look at the blocking scheme, though. Now, the offensive line, they're just setting up and blocking. That's McGee, Elliott, up Church, Erie, and Williams. They're doing a great job. And look at this pass up to Fort. Fort is being covered by Van Halsen, number 85, who was a defensive end. Well, it didn't work. Here's another pass the man open. That one's grabbed by James Shebest. Yet another catch by Shebest, the clever sophomore from Houston. So Nutt connects again, and hitting two in a row, he has brought Arkansas out of a deep hole. Now they're getting near midfield. A first down, that's not a first down, it's a gain of nine. And it'll be second and one at the Arkansas 41-yard line. Clock running here with a little over 11 minutes to go, and Arkansas sitting atop a 26 to 10 lead. Now they're back in the full house wishbone. They give it to the fullback, and there's not much room there. Foreman tried to find an opening, but there's just no crease. Closed down by Doman and by Kirby. You ready for this, she best? Nine receptions, 166 yards, two touchdowns. He came into this game averaging what? Well, let me tell you, Paul, let me read you the two game totals first. Now, what do you say they were? Two games, Shebest had caught nine passes for 166 yards. And you tell me he's exactly <laughs> duplicated <laughs> exactly. that. Exactly. So he's done in one game what it took him two to do. And he'd been the leading receiver anyway in the Southwest Conference, I think, on average catch, which was almost 18 and a half yards of catch. I think that's Kirby who was shaken up. Junior tackle for Navy. Arkansas, five out of 11 first downs. That's not bad. Anything close to 50% is excellent. They'll measure here to see if you got another one. I don't think you did. Navy player. Oh, they're short. Out. They're it's short by almost, the, almost uh, two lengths of the ball. Well, you pretty good eye there. Pretty good eye, McGuire. Next week, Saturday, Miami and Notre Dame should be an exciting affair. Notre Dame has bounced back strong after that opening loss to Purdue. Miami's taken some licks, but they've had some big wins too. So that should be an exciting day. Anytime Kozar gets the passes going and Pinkett gets into open field, you'll see a lot of thrills. They'll help Kirby off the field. This is, where, this, this is where you gotta, you got to really worry. You have third down and the length of the ball, a little bit more than that, and you've got wide receivers who catch the ball, throw a fake in there. I think they the first down. Yeah, they they give it here. Here comes to Bobby Joe Edmonds. Edmonds running kind of a crossing play. Might have been a trap. Bob Plant is there to stop him. Bobby Plant's first down for Arkansas at the Arkansas 46. Now watch the hole here. There, this is the true wishbone right here. And watch Bobby Joe Edmonds come back to this side. The hole is right there. No problems at all. A little counter play. I like it. Now it's first down. Arkansas's Danny Nutt. Little work again. Nutt on the fake. Runs the option. Keeps. Pitches wide. Broken out. Might be a fumble. Let's see. They're going to rule it fumble, and Navy gets it. That was broken up by Eric Fudge, number 44, a junior from Phoenix, Arizona. With Johnny on the spot. They played the pitch perfectly. They tried to pitch it over Fudge's head. It didn't work, and Navy's got a second turnover. Fudge could have caught this ball and, and would have been able to go in for a touchdown. Watch this now. Nut comes down. He's got Edmonds trailing. Look at Fudge. The ball is in his hands. No one there to stop him because Nutt is on the ground, but Fort does a, or, uh, Fudge does a small, smart thing and falls on the ball. Ball was pitched backwards or laterally, so it's a free ball. Here's Byrne rolling, running from pursuit, and he's going to go out of bounds to the far sideline. Just about the line of scrimmage, David Basil was in hot pursuit, number 53, all the way of Bill Byrne. Chuck Smith looked like it was a man trying to get open down there. Ten minutes to go on the game. Time running short now a little bit for Gary Tranquil and Navy. Still time left. But they should get something going if they're going to get back in this game. Arkansas in command, 26 to 10. Here comes Byrne on a straight ball. 
Burn. Now that, that one's batted down. Incomplete pass that time. The difference there is Burns' ball was thrown forward. So it becomes a forward pass. The pitch out a moment ago by Nutt was pitched backwards, which is a lad one. Raven Caldwell, he was in Burns' face. One thing that Navy has to do, they're going downfield with two wide receivers and the tight end. They've got to get their backs into play. They've got to get their backs out of the backfield so they can tie up the linebackers. They're doubling both sides and leaving the linebackers covering one-on-one -on, -one on the backs. Get the backs out of there. Now they have them out. And they got four quick receivers out. Here's Byrne firing downfield. And there's a bump down there, but both going for the ball, intended for Chris Weiler. And good coverage for by Kevin Anderson. Rodney Beecham was putting pressure meantime to Bill Byrne. And Anderson was staying right with Weiler. Incomplete pass, fourth down for Navy. Punting unit comes on for the midshipman. Just under 10 minutes to go in the game. There's Mark Colby, number 90, a senior punter from Sandusky, Michigan. Third year, he's been a punter. He's a two-step punter, Paul. Is that a difference? Well, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if he gets it inside the five. Nope, they cannot keep it outside the goal line. Goes into the end zone for automatic touchback. Arkansas will have it at the 20. We come back, leading by 16. Now that we're a family, some pitches to Taylor. Tries to get to the corner, then he is smacked hard out of bounds. Gain of about three, the 23, second down seven. That'll be the situation here for Danny Nutt, who's made quite a debut for Arkansas. But Kenny Hatfield, just like that, is going to have some depth at quarterback. But Brad Taylor, probably scheduled to come back off the injured list next week. He's getting very close to the all-time offensive records here, held by Joe Ferguson and by Montgomery. And he had to sit out tonight, but they have really not missed him that much the way Nuts play, or so it would appear. There's Nutt again. Play action fake. Throws in the flat. Incomplete pass. That was intended for Warren. Broken up. Almost picked off by Joe Papetti. That ball got juggling around the air. 26-10 Arkansas. Joe Papetti, you know, he's going to let you know, Warren, that you're in the ball game and that he's still playing. Now watch Papetti. The ball is in the air. Now he just gives him a little shot. That's just to remind Warren, <laughs> had you caught the ball, I would have been there to take your head off. Well, he's a tough kid. You know, he's like a second or third string All-American in lacrosse. They say that's a rough game. I don't want to play it. No, nope. neither do I. Here's the draw play. Into the ball back there, Thomas. Straight ahead for the first down over the 30 yard line. Eric Fudge tripped him up. You know, normally the defensive ends for Navy are Fudge and Judge. The Judge was injured tonight. So Fudge is holding for it. The Budge Brothers, they call them. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that. First and 10, Arkansas, the 31 yard line of the Razorbacks. There's Gary Tranquil, 43 year old head coach from Avella, Pennsylvania. Little All-American out of Wittenberg College. Ray Mears was out there during that time as a basketball coach. Now Nutt, a little delayed screen on the side here to Edmonds, and Bobby Joe shows his funny speed. I think he's got a first down up to the 42. Andy Upchurch sprung him there with a great block on that little screen. 54,812. That's the crowd here tonight. Jam packed into War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock, which is about three and a half hour drive from the Arkansas campus. So it's almost like a road game for the Hogs, although it's their crowd. For the Hogs. Don't you love that? Hog. I love those Hogs. Hook them, Hogs. Another play action. Nut. Look at Drills it. That field incomplete. Went to Theo Young, the man who caught the touchdown pass earlier. And they threw it into a crowd, but threw it high. And there was never any uh, chance it would be intercepted. This is the easiest way I know to eliminate one of your tight ends where you have a strong position, because watch what happens. When Nutt throws this ball to Brown, watch where he leads him out. Now he's got to lean into the ball. It's way outside. Three people converging on him. And I'll tell you, that hurts. Ooh. Well, Young's a tough kid. Sophomore he is. He's got everything they said it takes to make a great uh, tight end size. Good hands, fast. Draw play again to Derek Thomas. It's working. He may score. Thomas got open field. He's at the 10, the 5, and he's down on the one-yard line. All the way to the one-yard line. 
56 or 57 yards goes Derek Thomas and he has the misfortune of not being able to score after all that stopped by Vince McBeth. Well Thomas may be the slower of all of them but the blocking in the line was unbelievable. Burley gets knocked down who is supposed to be the strong safety or weak safety in this case. But watch this with Thomas is down here comes Macbeth right there cuts his legs out and then he gets hit on the other side by Eric Wallace. Not watch the, here bang boom bang <laughs> give you a headache. Great run ball great he's, run. From, he's from Paducah Kentucky Tillman High School down puts out some great play. There's the leap in the end zone by Ty Foreman but a flag is down. Marshall Foreman is very expert at leaping over the line in the end zone for touchdowns for Arkansas. A penalty flag goes down. Matty begins Navy. Let's see. Offsides. The Navy. Touchdown will count. And the penalty will come on the kickoff. So count the long run by Derek Thomas to set this one up. And Arkansas will put this one out of reach. 32 10, the Razorbacks leading. That was a close first half, Paul, but Arkansas has just blown it open here in the second half. Well, you know. <laughs> the problem is Navy they just couldn't put it all together in the, in the first half again they they had to come out and get on top but to run this wishbone the broken bone whatever kind of want to call it flex bone flex bone they, they killed him now it's 33 10 Arkansas he kicked the ball on squibs Early in the game, when the game was close, the last time he kicked off, he uh, put it in the air. Let's see what happens. There was a five-yard penalty on the touchdown, so they put it off on the kickoff. Now well, he's going to sail this. Just goes out. It'll come out to the 30. It's on the end line, and it'll come out to the 20. I don't think it went uh, over the end line. Wait Let's a see. minute. All right, look, look at this. Here's the replay. That's that's Marshall Foreman going up in the air, but you can just see the height on Marshall Foreman getting up over the defensive and offensive lineman. Here he comes again. Marshall Foreman over the top, the blocking in the line, up church, 52, the center getting a good block. He didn't have to get a whole lot, just a piece. Now here's this rule. The ball went out of the end zone. They're bringing the ball back to the 30-yard line where you penalize the kicker. Well, they ruled that it did hit beyond the inline on the fly. Navy will change quarterbacks. Bob Mish, a sophomore from Cleveland, Ohio, is alternated with uh, Byrne already this year. And he'll come in at quarterback. So Mish is in. Ray in motion. Mish on a handoff to his tailback. Penalty flag is thrown down. David Shell on the stop for Arkansas. So we're getting a look at Mish on so that handoff to Klaus. Let's see what the flag's about. Legal procedure Navy. Next week, Navy plays Arkansas. And next week, Arkan or rather, Navy plays uh, Air Force. And next week, Arkansas goes into the Southwest Conference to play Texas Christian. The TCU. Frog Frogs having a good year. Penalty five yards walked off against Navy. First and 15 now from the 25. Mish as uh, alternate for Navy at quarterback so far has hit 12 out of 32 not a good percentage 120 yards one touchdown no interceptions here's his first pass tonight Mish over the middle and he drills it in there and hits the tight end or rather the Tailback Chuck Smith for a nice gain over the 30 yard line. This is the first play for Smith, number 38, a young freshman from Strongsville, Ohio. Came out of the Naval Academy prep school last year. So, right now, Tranquil figuring this game is gone. He's getting a look at some of his young players. And I don't blame him. You know, Hine, number 81, had seven catches or six catches in the first half. He has a total of seven now for 101 yards. They completely shut him down in the second half. Mish off of the flat, and Smith can't hold it this time. A drop pass by Chuck Smith. Mark Alexander, a third string fullback, is now in the backfield for Navy, a senior from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Next week, Coach Tranquil will have his fullbacks running pass drills and learning how to hold on the football when it hits you in the hand because they've been dropping them all night long. That's a good bet. Six out of 15 third down conversions. The Navy now faces third and seven at the 33. And the new quarterback is Bob Mish.
Got to pick up seven yards. Over the middle he goes. Another drop pass intended for Mark Stevens, who's usually sure-handed. But he was popped pretty good by Ricky Williams, a freshman uh, linebacker, just as the ball arrived. And now Navy sends on the punting unit, and they'll have to kick the ball away with 7.20 to go, trailing 33-10, as Arkansas now has put this game in a pretty safe spot for the Razorbacks. There's Colby's marks on six punts, and here is Bobby Joe Edmonds now. He's come back in the punt formation, or rather safety. Single safety. Kick, and it's going to hit in front of Edmonds, a short kick bounding toward the sidelines, and Navy will kill it around the 35. Not a deep kick here as Arkansas gets the ball with a score, Arkansas 33, and Navy 10. And we'll be right back. on ESPN. Maryland, Penn State. Duffy now in the ball game for uh, Arkansas, hitting straight ahead up through the 38-yard line. Matt Kirby and Dirk McFarland playing there to make the stop. Arkansas uses some different players. Well, Richard Duffy has come in. Now here comes Danny Nutt out, and he's getting a great hand from the Arkansas fans. They also have Van Dyke in the backfield, number 35. And, and here's the first look at a touted freshman quarterback, Greg Thomas. They think he'll be a great one for Arkansas. Thomas runs the pitch, and it's out he goes. There's Van Dyke. Van Dyke on a sweep. Gets around the corner for another first down for Arkansas. Joe Papetti on the stop. Well, we're seeing players we never dreamed of seeing, Paul. <laughs> Just wondering when you're going to... Dig down into that old bag of yours and take a look at some of these guys. That they're just about on the roster. Arkansas way ahead, 33 to 10. They have completely shut down Navy here in the second half, and they have taken command. Explosive play. Danny Nutt, outstanding player. Here comes the freshman, Greg Thomas. Thomas keeps. Thomas still going. He's just a freshman, remember? Down to the 25. Arkansas fans are going to love this guy for the next four years from San Angelo, Texas. He was all Central Texas quarterback in high school last year. And what a future he seems to have. Sings in the choir, and he makes music here, too. Don't tell him he's a freshman. Watch this, Thomas. He knows he's got a trail man back on the outside. That's Warren, but he's just going to cut it back to the inside. Look at this. He's, that's Fudge trying to tackle him right there, number 44. He runs right on by him. Now they're back of the true wishbone. And the inside handoff to Billy Warren, stopped by Dirk McFarlane. Billy Warren on the carry. Clock rolling down with 5.40 to go. Arkansas 33, the Dirk Navy 10. McFarlane. Warren, number 33, is a sophomore from Newport. Five, Ken Hatfield has been able to use about eight halfbacks <laughs> and two fullbacks tonight. So he's gotten to see a lot of action out of these young fellas. The first time Arkansas in the three games has had any kind of a comfortable lead. It's nip and tuck with Tulsa last week, and then the game of the Ole Miss very, very close. Fullback, hitting straight ahead, stop by Matt Kirby. Duffy picks up maybe a couple of yards. Going to bring up third down for Arkansas at the 18-yard line. That'll be third down and three. Don't forget now they're using a uh, young man from Youngstown, Ohio, Mark Kelcagney, who's a junior. There's Tranquil, coached under Woody Hayes of Ohio State. It's going to be a long, it's been a long night for him here in the second half. All Arkansas. Ken Hatfield had his team ready. Here's the keep by Thomas. Oh, what is he paying the price? Oh, boy. Thomas, he may have to eat through a straw for a couple of days. Vince McBeth, who's from Arkansas, has had enough of this. He really put a pad on him. Watch this. Vince McBeth has been waiting to do this all night long. He cuts back to the inside. And just watch this with Thomas. Said, well, I'll pitch. No, I won't. McBeth says, you bet next, you won't. Next time you come out of there pitching. <laughs> Freshman has to learn. You have to learn. Now well, they're going to go for fourth down. And Thomas wants to keep it. Here's Thomas dancing for the first down, I think. If he gets across the line, he's going to have the first down. That'd be in the 15-yard line. Right at the 15. Clock's rolling. Now under four minutes to go. Two games next Saturday at noon. Penn State, Maryland, 7.30 p.m. next Saturday night. Notre Dame and Miami here on ESPN. As we continue to bring you live action, the best 
and College Football Association action throughout the 1984 season. Well, the Hogs are happy tonight. Been a big night for the Razorbacks. They'll be heard from in the Southwest Conference race. Thomas handed it off that time. Tried that keeper play a moment ago, and he got a good memory. Duffy again hits the middle. <laughs> Duffy on the carry. Yeah. You, you better hand over. You have the big fullbacks in there. All you want to do is run the clock out. It's 327 and counting. Just get out of there. Except the young guys love to play. You know, they, get in, they don't get that many chances of playing in the game. And when they do, they want to perform. Well, you're seeing two freshmen here, Richard Duffy is from Houston, Texas, and of course, Greg Thomas, who's from San Angelo, Texas. Two players of the future here for Arkansas. This time they wrap up Thomas for a loss. Cracking through there was John Fuller, a sophomore defensive end from Springfield, Missouri, or Springfield, Virginia for Navy. Greg Thomas kept the football. He was stopped. This will be John the second Fuller. loss in a row for Navy. After their opening win over North Carolina, beaten by Virginia, and now here, Arkansas. All right, Fuller's playing the defensive end, which is a linebacker. He didn't take the fake at all. He's right there on Thomas. And, and you notice the official blew the whistle. When you're in the grasp, you're, you're, you're down for all intents and purposes. We may see Thomas throw the ball now. Well, it's uh, third down, passing situation, about 10 to go. Yep, here he comes, Thomas. He's going to run a quarterback draw, and they're going to sack him around the 21 or 22. A whole wave of white shirts came in for the Navy, led by Bob Plants, a sophomore Greg defensive tackle. To pass. Well, I got to put a hurt on you a little bit here. John right. Fuller. She best nine for 156 yards, so he so didn't tie his up his output from the first, first two the games. So that's 18 catches Fourth in three down. games, though. That's going to put it's him, eight. I think, Paul, up somewhere among the leaders, certainly in the Southwest Conference, but maybe even nationally. So. GBS will be a guy bearing watching. And remember, he's only a sophomore, so this is a young team here. Danny Greg Horn will, hold. will try Greg one Horn from 37 yards. Hold. Plenty of length. Straight it up. Is no. it? No, it is not. It's outside, and so Horn no misses good. again. But Arkansas continues well ahead, 33-10 over Navy. Forty one to go. Navy's got one more chance here to try to do salvage something. Bob Mish quarterbacking the midshipman. Mish hands up the middle. Here comes Alexander, the fullback, with some running room and crosses the 30, scores a first down. Arkansas gladly give him that. There's Mark, number 49. Probably has the best size Mark of any of the Navy quarterbacks. He's 6'2 and 230. David Dudley made the tackle. Clock's rolling, though, with a minute and a half Navy. to go. Navy's got a long way to go if they're going to score again in this line. game. I just think they want to, they'll probably end up throwing here, but I just think they want to get out of here without any more injuries, get off the field. The game, for all intents and purposes, is over with. Oops, they're going to throw. There's Mish over the middle, almost intercepted. Boy, that was almost picked off by Eric Whitted for Arkansas, red shirt freshman. There's another freshman player for Arkansas out of Dallas, 18 years old. So this is a very kiddish team at Arkansas that Ken Hatfield has. And another year or so, you're going to see, I think, about the same turn that they had down at Air Force, the way things are looking here. Coming up next, the che Chevrolet College Football Report highlights and scores. George Grant from ESPN right after the game. Now we have just a little over a minute to go. Chuck Smith struggling for yardage here for Navy. And we're coming down now to the final minute to play. There's Smith, freshman. A lot of young players getting in some licks here in the final minutes of the game. Navy's Charles record's going to go on one carry. and two. Robert and Arkansas Brown will be two tackle. wins, one tie. The tie coming to surprising Ole Miss, a team that's surprised more than one. Next Saturday, oh. Bernie Kozar in Miami against Allen Pickett in Notre Dame. 7-3 next Saturday night here on ESPN. That handoff goes for not for Chuck Smith again. On the carry. Miami and Notre Dame both Ricky scored Williams victories today, so they're going to be going in there on the high note next Saturday at 7.30 p.m. right here on ESPN Live. Well, maybe fourth down, they're just going to go for it, and, and the only problem is that if, if they don't get the first down, the clock will stop when the ball turns around. 15 seconds to go. Mitch going to throw a fourth down pass. Here's Mitch going upfield. Got his first down. And Fumble. then he fumbles away the ball, and Arkansas has got it around the 44, and time will run out probably. White, Nathan White, got over the ball, but it was Eric Quitted, the young freshman who really popped 
the receiver, Mike Ray. Ball squirted loose. Another turnover for Navy that really doesn't mean anything because the play is going to end on the next play of the game. Eight seconds to go. Solid win here for Arkansas. Very impressive second half. They showed they could win without their first line quarterback. Brad Taylor was on the sidelines. Danny Nutt just did a marvelous job, but a spectacular game by James Shebest. Two touchdown receptions, nine catches overall. And I think you'll be looking at the last play of the game right here. There's a delay of the game. I'm sure they didn't want that. I'll tell you how far they are down in the depth chart, my friend. There's number 73 for Arkansas is in the ball game, and he didn't make the roster. <laughs> I mean, any part of the roster. We mentioned uh, Miami and Notre Dame next Saturday night. Paul, next Saturday afternoon, we're going to see Penn State if they can bounce back from that Texas disaster today. They had D.J. Dozier, one of the great running backs in the country. I guess Maryland, a team that's coming back. They beat Wake Forest today, so they're setting sail after losing to Syracuse. And how about Syracuse? They upended Nebraska today. That'll change the polls around. And here you've seen a solid win by Arkansas. The game is over as Arkansas defeats Navy by a score of 33 to 10. And Paul, that's just a solid performance put together here by Ken Hatfield and his staff and his team. Navy was in the game for half of the ball game, 13 to 10 at the half, but the wishbone, the flex bone, just, just wore them down. And when you start to guess against that kind of an offense, you're going to get burned. And that's exactly what Navy started to do. They started to play run. Arkansas came out throwing the ball. When they were playing pass, Arkansas ran the ball. Just hurt them. Well, hats off to that man right there.